Thank you so much for watching Tomohisa Music. This one I dedicate to all my students at Berkeley because this is a new semester and just a few of them I always feel like I wish you guys know a little bit more about this and that means the foundation because you know everyone wants to improve their playing it's not just showing something flashy or something amazing I have to really make sure that they have good skills left hand muting right hand picking all that stuff okay so welcome to Berkeley and you know welcome returning students and new student and uh, I'm so happy working for Berkeley guitar department for many many years 31 years actually okay so <clears throat> here we go so the first one I wanna you know everyone to know scale but how you learn scale mostly people learn scale like this first thing A minor pentatonic everything sh shapes C major scale like that everything shapes right and easy to accept that idea and apply it but it's very limited so <clears throat> you have to do so this is a, I wish you knew before you come to Berkeley which is C major scale <laughs> like that okay so you know a lot of people ask so Dorian scale somebody say how can you play without looking your finger because theory in a way theory uh, gives you the difference between major scale and minor scale or Dorian so Dorian scale has a flat 3 and flat 7 so you pay attention major scale and then minor scale I'm sorry Dorian scale Now Dexter knows how to make a Aeolian scale with natural minor. Right, Dexter? Right? Yeah? You gonna sit down? Okay, good. Uh so <clears throat> so that you know difference is flat three, flat six, flat seven, and you have to know three different minors which is tell me oh you're busy um natural minor harmonic minor melodic minor right that's natural minor That's harmonic minor. Melodic minor. So like the same as the major scale, we, you know, with the flat three. Then you go, okay, what's the difference? Phrygian. I don't use Phrygian that much, so I didn't really pay attention. But at least I know, as a knowledge, flat two. So it gets darker. Dorian, flat, flat three, flat six. Aeolian, flat three, flat six, flat seven. Phrygian, flat two, flat three, flat six, flat. Seven. So that's like a theory, just a number system, actually.
So some melody has a harmonic minor, you know, melodic minor. That's great. And, you know, uh, and this one is a Phrygian, almost forgot. And then Locrian, you know, a lot of people know Locrian shape. But if you know that, that doesn't do anything, right? Just that position, you know. So you have to really understand Locrian from C. So you have to th think flat two, flat three, flat five, flat six, flat seven, like you know, talk like an Italian, you know. Okay, so that's the first thing I want you to know before you come to Berkeley. But also I want you to know triads, right, Dexter? So triads, we have the three types: C, E, G, root position, do, mi, so. Okay, E, G, C. First inversion, and this is how you know in tune, and then sodomi G C E like second inversion. So you see the top three strings. You have the sodomi and do mi so, mi so do, sodomi. So you have to know that, and then. Put a lot of reverb so we covers everything, you know. <laughs> then that's like a horizontal. Then you have to know vertical, so the second inversion. The next one, back is a first inversion. Root position. Second inversion. Most important things thumb position. So if you play like this, then you're thinking shape. So you have to do dedicate each one. That and then mi so do, do mi so, so do mi. Then maybe fifth and fourth string a little softer like that. Now, using reverb to understand the dynamics. Watch this one. That's how you use, you know. Of course, you have to change to F. See, that's a theory. You can hear it, and you understand. So you don't have to look at your finger. Because it's not visually first. Mentally and physically by ear, really understand the difference. So then, gradually, okay, so that's a vertical, this is horizontal. So now, second string, second, third, fourth, a little bit different, but then the same shape. Same shape as sixth string. So now the challenge you have to do as a student, you have to know apply C to F. F. C. F. Go up. Going down. Going down. Going up. So, all my Berkeley students, you have to know this before you enter my room. Or we can work on it, but that's what you can do right now. Right? And can you play F? Can you hear? You know, occasionally you can watch like that. That's fine. That's fine. But sometimes, you know, try and not watch it. Yeah, that's good. Then. So let me see what I saw. Yeah, so that's really important, you know. And then bottom. Nice sound, you know. So I play second inversion and then first in root position. 
kind of confusing. I can hear the melody. Like <laughs> so basically, you have to go, you know, going up like that. Okay, and going up F. Then clean. See? Intonation. So you have to really tune your guitar, take your time, don't don't rush. Don't use just a tuner and then use your ear. Like see, really good. Confuse. I so basically going up, going down. So basically you have to like you know going up, up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up. Right? Right? Yeah? Yeah? Try it. Okay? We do CNF. You remember? He knows everything because he listens to me all the time when I, you know, practice these. Myself, I've been playing many, many years, but I have to make sure I understand this so that I have room to play. It means understand, then I have more, you know, yeah, room to play. That's how we say. Then after that, you can do C, root position. First inversion. By the way, this guitar is really nice. Fender and lim limited edition. Yeah, Bruno Mars, you know, strap. So, really nice. It's good for, you know, black t shirts and black sweatshirts. Look really great. Okay, and one more, if you can, um, you know, definitely you have to practice like, you know, like, you know, B flat blues, okay? One, a two, a one, two, three, four. Swing, you know? So this one, Root 7 3rd, root 3rd 7. So from 5th string root, you play root 3rd 7. From 6th string root, you play root 7 3rd, like that. So this is regular blues. You have to know it. That's why you don't want to use um, backing truck. Backing truck not helping because already somebody prepared but you have to prepare by yourself one four and one two twice four twice and one twice right dexter and a five so dexter knows jazz blues right Shuffle diminish and diminish a little softer. Right? Dexter. <laughs> and 1625. Dexter, you know how to play walking bass line? You're listening, yeah. Is it okay? Is it good? Going down, right? Going down to 6. Two to five. Can I go to three six two five? Yeah. Change your bass line. Can I go down like a BB King? Level to legal. That's the line, right? Can I go up more? Thank mm -hmm. you.
uh, 58 like that. All right, so I think that's good enough. You know, so basically, you have to understand one finger, one string, and major scale, three different minors, all the you know different scales. Make sure you can play the difference. That's how you can play melody, you know, and recognize melody. And try out everything because then you can add a seventh. If you add a triads with a seventh, that's dominant seventh. If you add a major seventh, that's major seventh. Minor triad with a flat seven, that's minor seven, and so on. So to me, like really, even two notes. I'm sorry. What's up? That's the wrong note. But you see, I'm a human. Like that. Slow down is good. So like that, triads is really useful. So like, you know, this video is really welcoming all my Berkeley students this semester. But at the same time, almost I wish everyone, this is, I'm just saying, only a few people, you know, just didn't practice it. Just because easy, somebody from the high school watching all YouTube video and just everything fancy, cool, you learn. But you don't know any reason, you don't know the foundation. So that's why you learn something, you can play it, but then you're stuck. You can change the key, you have no idea what's going on because you learn all the shapes. Somebody say, I know Dorian, but Dorian shapes. Dorian is the sounds, not the shape. So like that. I love you guys. Okay, thank you so much. Now, if you like my channel, Tomoshi the Music, please subscribe this channel. That really helps me to create more video and I can spend more time with my cat. That's the key, you know? Yeah, right? It's about 3 p.m. to 8 p.m., very important. He's gonna sleep. So, right, next. If you like to learn more guitar seriously and you wanna spend, you know, quality time, not just, you know, finish by self-taught, Definitely join my guitar wisdom. That's where I, my passion is. I post so many, so many videos. And of course, we started this four years ago. So some of the earlier video, only one camera, little bit sounds quality is not great. So right now, I'm replacing with the two camera is better audio. So you know, don't don't wait. Just you know, dig in, and then I replace everything in you know, all the video to new video. All right. So thank you so much. See you soon. Take care.